I wonder what's missing here. Hmm, can't really put my finger on it. Oh wait, I know. It's our good old friend. Gloss. Well, first of all, we're gonna need some shapes. Drag out a wonderful round white shape. We're gonna drop the fill down, then we're gonna go into layer styles. And what we want is a bit of light just coming from above there. The easiest way to do that is simply just to add a gradient. Now, I don't want it to be an overlay. You know, just good old screen, I think. And the cool thing about gradients like this is that you can just move them around, manipulate them any way you want. Had this been like a, a radial gradient, kind of like this, we would be able to move around the radial gradient, kind of like controlling a light source, right? Uh, but let's go with a linear gradient. Just kind of want like just the half of the circle covered in a gradient. I also usually, when I do gloss, add just a little bit of a an edge to it. So maybe like an inner shadow and just sort of have like a little sliver of more solid light there at the top. Let's tweak these vectors just a little more. I personally prefer when you can see like a subtle edge of the gloss layer. Also just adding another gloss layer up here. When you look at things like gloss and other details in icons really close up, it can look a little weird, right? It's like doesn't really look right. But what you have to keep in mind is that most app icons will be shown in a much smaller scale. And so what I usually get in the habit of is zooming out and trying to sort of look at the icon from afar. And here's a little quick tip to make that even easier for you. Instead of zooming in and out all the time like a Neanderthal, uh, I usually just go up into Window, Arrange, and then come down to new window for music.psd. I now have two instances open of the same file. I can just drag out one here. And so I'll be working on details over here, changing things, uh, you know, tweaking this maybe, and I'll be able to see those details reflected in the smaller size right here. And it's the same file that I'm editing. So that's another little quick tip for you. Do you guys remember the good old days of iTunes? I love that icon. Let's see if we can travel back in time and add just a little bit of that retro goodness to this music icon. Inside this session file that we've been working on, there's another folder hiding right here called iTunes Classic. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Boom. Let's break it down. So first of all, coming down here in our layers pane, you'll notice that I have a folder called CD. Now this sort of CD effect actually consists of a bunch of different layers, but nothing too complex that we haven't already covered really. You have your basic Michael style shadow down here. Then we have like the little inner part of the CD right here. Uh, we have the CD itself here, and we also have a bit of an overlay to the CD. And so I feel like if we disable this layer, we haven't really burned anything to the CD just yet. Those of you in the audience that's old enough, you know. What I wanted to focus on in this icon is this cool laser disc effect. It's literally just a gradient overlay. And yeah, it's a pretty complex gradient. It has quite a lot of different color notes and it takes a little bit of experimentation to get exactly what you want here. But when you look at it, it's really just a bunch of rainbow colors. Pulling any of these color stops around will change how the light appears to be hitting the CD. You'll notice how the music note itself reflects into the CD if you really zoom in here. How do we do that? Well, I simply just took the music note itself, duplicated it, created a smart object from it, moved it down a little bit and just dropped down the opacity to something like 20. And I used the vectors of the CD and uh, pasted it onto the layer so that that's actually masked so that the reflection only happens on the surface of the CD. So those are some fun materials and they literally are all made with just shape layers and layer styles in Photoshop. I think that's kind of amazing.